So this is your first run of the morning? This, no, not this one. We just we just came back from a run. What we did okay. at, um, we'll start at like nine. Um, that's when enforcement starts. And then you'll go out and you'll scan with the uh, with the cameras on the back, the LPR. Mm -hmm. You'll scan tags, it inputs tags. And what it does is, what it reads is the actual tag itself. So it'll take a picture and it'll say what time it was there. Take a picture, every car on both sides. Boom, 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 boom. At the same time. Correct. And as, so as you're driving down the road, it's just ding, 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 ding. And it's picking them all up. So you know. Is that that um, beep I'm hearing right now? What you hear is this laptop here. Yeah. And what it is, is if you don't mind, I'll pull over real no. quick and show you. You don't want to do it while driving. No, because that would be bad. So what it is, is, is you have this, uh, we have our, our laptop here. And these are the pictures that it takes as we drive down the road. So it's saying, this is this person's license plate here. It's a Florida tag. Um, here's another one. That's the picture it takes. That's what it seems zoomed in. Here's another one. This is the picture, you know, from that plate. So then we know like, okay, this was tagged at 10, 10, 48 AM. So then they have two hours. Two hours on the street completely for free. What well, they can also pay. You can pay, there's an app, it's, it's on every sign, it's called Park Mobile. You can pay for an additional two hours in this zone. Um, a lot of people don't, they don't realize that, but in this zone, you can get an additional two hours. Uh, it's only a dollar an hour. So, and mean, you can stay in the spot you're already in? Only for two more hours. Okay, so four hours. So at, if you show up at nine o'clock, your car is scanned at 9.05, let's just say randomly scanned at 9.05. At 11.05, you need to either pay or, or move, one of the two. And that's your only option. That's it. I like options and they're right to the point. <laughs> if you want, you can, if you don't mind holding this, no. so you can see it, actually how it scans and it'll show you which, uh, like how it reads. Now, sometimes it does pick up words on buildings, numbers. Uh, we can reject those photos. Uh, we can edit. So let's say we drive by, um, I'm gonna go straight through this light. Mm -hmm. Let's say this guy on the right, it's got an Ohio tag. And for some reason, it reads Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, you can edit it by, you'll look and you'll say, okay, boom, Florida. And you can click the state and then change it to what state it actually is. So there's no error. So here's a question. It's two hours anywhere downtown. Uh -huh. So I park here for five minutes. No reparking. I know that's what you're going to say, right? Yes. Yeah, everyone says that. Signs, every sign says no reparking. Um, so if I've been in a spot for five minutes, I better stay in that spot. Yeah, I mean, you can move, but this two hour rules is once you park in your scan, which you don't know when you're scanned, you, you won't know, I won't know. We drive by so many cars, I can't remember all of them. So we'll drive by, you'll get scanned. Like I said, we could have scanned you at 9.10, 9.30, 9.15. Who knows what time you got scanned, but you got scanned sometime after nine. I, I can guarantee you that. And then if you're still there two hours later, or if you move to another spot and you have not paid, you will be in violation. You'll get a ticket. Mm. You, you cannot repart. You can't say, well, I left. I went to McDonald's and came back. Mm, doesn't count. One time part, that's it. You can see that on uh, Lakeland's website in the fact section. They'll tell you. So when you start your day, I you have a route you follow every morning to start logging? We don't do a specific route daily okay. because what happens is people who work here they're the biggest violators here believe it or not you'll see people uh, who which is crazy we're limited on space as it is so what you have is let's just say you have 50 parking spaces down this one stretch of Kentucky 20 of them is an employee somewhere mm -hmm. and they have passes in the garages and they'll block the spaces for potential customers to come in because we're only limited then those potential customers have the issues with the parking. They're the ones who complain the most. They say, well, there's no parking. I hate coming downtown. Well, that's because, to be honest, the employees are taking up all the spots. When they could be parking. Correct. I can take you right down the street there on Lime uh, or Lemon, and you can see parking tags hanging in every vehicle. But they choose to... They choose to park on the street. Parking. Yep, instead of parking in the garage like, like they're allowed to, or a permit lot like they're supposed to. They pay for it, and yet they still violate it. They don't, for some reason, in their mind, it's it's more convenient to park on the street. I have no idea. 
And they're paying. And they're paying. Yeah. For yeah. both Under, now. Undercover they're... parking in Main Street Garage, seventy dollars a month plus tax. Cool. And they they still park on the street. I guess they're maybe their employer pays for it or something like so that. So it's not coming out of their pocket. Maybe. So they right. So then they're just like, oh, I don't care. You know, it's it, I'd rather risk not. You know, then they play the game, and that's where like almost all your tickets come from are people who work down here. That's where all the issues come from. And then people who visit here have like know where to park. They're like, I don't know where to park. I can't do this. So. You're constantly giving direction and trying to help them out and, and de defrustrate them a little bit because they're upset that they can't park. Oh, I'm my favorite coffee shop here. I have no parking. This is a, you know, this is insane. I should be able to come down here, buy me a cup of coffee, and hang out for 10 minutes on my laptop, and do some work before I actually but go I in can't. the office. But I can't. I'm already learning things. Yeah, a lot of people don't nice. realize some of these things. Well, and that's what I'm here for with you is to a see what you do all day, but like trying to help the people because no one wants to pay a parking ticket. Oh yeah, a lot of people have questions about the signs because they don't, they just come here and they, they don't know. So we have to, you know, educate them on how it works, um, what the rules are, where they can park, where they can't park. They'll pull into um, a lot and they won't, they don't understand that it's a permit only lot. So they're, you know, at that point, then you got to tell them, hey, listen, just to avoid you getting a ticket, most tickets are $25. Uh, except for the handicap parking, that's uh, 250 And you're able to give somebody a ticket three times a day. We don't normally tend to beat on people. Like that. Right. You know, oh, 25, 25, 25. Usually you give that first ticket, they move. They're watching their car. They know they just don't want to pay. It's not our goal is to go out and get a bunch of tickets. That's Nobody wants to do that. I mean, you, what you want to do is you want to tell people, hey, this is what you did wrong. And if I can help you, then I'll help you out. It, that's you know that's pretty much it you don't want to go out and just there's no thrill in here it's $25 ticket $25 ticket $25 ticket uh, we don't look for that I would rather say hey sir as you walk away can you come back and move your car then then for you to say you know oh you did that on purpose you watched me walk away I mean that's just kind of being a jerk like you're just being mean about it do you guys issue tickets in the rain yeah I've thing. always wondered. I mean, when like, it's do like I get a little extra for raining? <laughs> when it's pouring, pouring, we, we, you know, we try to stay safe about it. You know, there's lightning and stuff like that. Um, but when it's just normal, like normal rain, just a light sprinkle or something, You're we have, out. yeah, we can go out. It's not gonna, it's not rain. Don't you won't melt. <laughs> well, and it seems like you have a good. This is a good job within the city. I like it. A lot of people may frown on it and they hate you because you gave them a parking ticket. Um, it's not my fault you parked that way. Um, I try to tell you, hey, you know, this is this is why you got a ticket. And sometimes they just don't care. They're like, we don't care. You gave me a ticket. You should have looked the other way. Well, then I'm not doing my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. But they don't see that. So do people assume you have a quota you have to fill each month? We heard, but there's no quota. I, I, can, tell, I can promise there you there's no, no quota. quota. You don't write any tickets. You, there is no penalty. If you write a thousand tickets, there is no price. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get nothing. There, Ideally, it, you don't want to write any. Yeah, my personally, <laughs> they're going to be mad. But I don't want to write tickets. I really don't. You know, somebody might say, well, that's your job. I mean, it is to catch people parking and violating, but I would much rather tell you what you did wrong and hope that you don't do it again than to actually give you a ticket and hit you in the, in the wallet. You know, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to pay $25. No. Yeah, no, 25 bucks, that ain't, that'll go a long way somewhere. You know what I mean? Especially now. So we're going to cut through, we cut through this little residential uh, street right here, get you right to the lake. Boom, speed limit. We're... We're in range, we're tagged, we're insured, we're good to go. If you look left or right, some of these streets will have signs like right here, no parking here to the corner, mm -hmm. they're parked there. Do you get nervous in your stomach? Like, I just got nervous all of a sudden knowing you're about to give somebody a ticket. You know, he may get upset and go, why are you bothering me? Why are you, yeah, you can. But I don't get nervous because it's my, I'm not approaching you aggressive. You should no reason for you to be aggressive towards me. You're not getting, I'm not gonna say, hey buddy, you cannot do that. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be polite. It's gonna be most likely they're doing some sort of construction work. See these guys right here? Yep. And all I'm gonna do, since they're outside, is I'm gonna walk up to them and I'm gonna say, hey, listen, I don't know if you noticed that sign, but you cannot park this way. 
there's as a reason. As long as they'll come out and move it. Then you don't get no ticket. Okay. If you don't move it, you say, yeah, right, whatever, I'll give you a ticket. It's right there. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, man. Listen, are these your two vehicles right here? Um, there's a sign here that says no parking from here to corner. If it's possible, for no, it's not this way, it's this way. Uh, it, oh, no. So if you just want to move them in front of the sign, that'd be totally fine. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you. And just like that. Simple. There's no, there's no people coming at you wanting to fist fight or, you know, or anything like that. It's, it's usually people are, you know, it's everyone's understanding. You know, hey, listen, I get it, no problem. You're not gonna get people. He's not gonna come and freak out because he parked wrong. Right. Most people would say, oh, okay, no problem. When I had a chance to get uh, to join the city, I, I jumped on it. It was the first thing. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Well, working for the public is different. Is I find it uh, better than working for a private company. I'd rather work for the public. We help people with directions. Um, sometimes they have questions regarding uh, how to park, how to use the app. I have the app on my personal phone. I use it when I go other places. Um, it's not just for Lakeland. Okay, it's not. The, no, it's the for... app is for everywhere. Okay. Everywhere you go is, is the uh, the app can be used. Most cities, not all, most. And you have one. He's hanging out of the space. Oh. So you have a ticket. Yeah, sorry, fella. Just pull over here. And we'll give this person a ticket. So what what happens first? Uh, I just grab. I have an envelope in my pocket. I'll grab the handheld and the printer, and I'll go write him a ticket. You wanna hold the handheld? Yeah. Do the honor. Yeah. Okay. Doing the the ripped and strip. So what happens is with with a car like this, obviously what's wrong is they're not in a space. Mm -hmm. This car is clearly clearly not in a space. Um, technically, there's a drive here, therefore there's no space here. Now, if this was blocked off, then they probably would put more spaces, depending on the, you know, for the end of the block, I think it's like 25 feet. Mm -hmm. um, but, but because of the drive here, they don't have a space here. But since they saw the gate was closed, they probably just said, hey, it's okay, I'll park here. It's actually a violation. You can't park here. So I'm going to search their tag. I'm going to change the state. Their state is Connecticut. I'm gonna type in their plate. You can't give the wrong person a ticket. It's gonna ask you to verify that tag again before you get uh, Okay, so there's... You cannot make an error. It will say, oh, you typed it wrong. And then I'll have you look again. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hit citation. Cause that's what it is. I'm gonna type in just the make of it. And it's a Mazda. All of them are pretty much put in. You don't have to put in the uh, make, model, color, anything like that. Okay. It's general, you got a Mazda. I'm gonna click citation. Um, we're on freight one work right way. Boom, and we're at a thousand blocks. You can verify by the sign, but I've been here a thousand times. I was just thinking. Yeah, just like, how, how do you know that? Crazy. That's because I've been here before. <laughs> um, select a violation. It's one of these violations here. It's already in here. That's how much it costs. Twenty-five bucks. <laughs> So I didn't put the dollar amount. It's already it's preset. It's preset. That's you violated. That's what you're getting wrong. So that's what uh, that's what we're gonna do there. Um, images. I'm gonna take a picture of their plate. So we have verification. We take pictures of all the cars that get citations. So if they want to dispute their citation, they cannot. It's hard to dispute. You can, but we have pictures. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, you. We're gonna get you. So I got a picture of his plate. It looks good. It's not blurred out. I'm going to hit done. It saves. Now I'm going to go with context. So now within context. So you're going to try to show, you're going to show. I'm going to show that is. he is not in that space. So all my pictures from here on are going to prove that he's not, he's parked wrong. Mm -hmm. And this is why. So he can say, well, no, I was in a space. You're wrong. No, there's no white line in front of you. <laughs> Correct. You are completely in error so we can get it from the front and mind you the whole time that this process is going on this person could come out and avoid this ticket so if, if they, they came out while i was writing this ticket that's when i just take the opportunity to hit cancel 
we put it in as a warning and I just tell them, hey, listen, this is what you did wrong. I'm going to tell you why you did this wrong. Don't do this again. It's a warning in our system. But once you hit print. Once I hit print, I have to request a void. I cannot void it. Okay. I can only request one saying that there was something I did in error. Um, I can't say, you know, I can't hit cancel and the ticket's vanished. Once I hit print, it's, it's print. Done. So once I hit done here, it's going to ask me to put that plate in again. Wow. So, so I can't mess this up. So I got to go back and look at that plate. I don't want to use that front plate. Just in case it's different. That's not what I took the picture of. So I'm going to take a picture of their back plate. Or uh, put it in their back plate again. 7AG UP6. If I type that wrong, let's say I did. Let's say I do UP1. Nope. So you have definitely got your chance to. If you were to make an error, people say, oh, you can make a mistake. Can't do Not it. Not with this thing. Nope. Can't do it. Now, handwritten, maybe. Say. And, now and there it, it comes. Out. And that actually printed out bad because we were playing with the paper earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to citation and I'm going to reprint. You just want to, I'm going to hit reprint. So we have a good ticket that we'll put in our envelope. And the envelope is just, if you want to mail something in. It's ready what to go. It. Yeah. So what I do is easy. You can not slide it in there mm -hmm. nice. You just fold it up a couple times and drop it in. Fold the flap. And then you set it on their car. You're not allowed to touch someone's car. Okay. Unless you're just putting this on there. You can't lean on it, set my stuff on it. That's somebody else's property. Right. I can't do that. So the only touching. The only thing I'm going to do is if I can't slide this in easy, like that, easy, then I'll lift this up and kick it over and drop it down. But so you are trying to make zero contact. I, will, I do not want to touch your car. That's your property. I don't need you to say, hey, man, this guy damaged my vehicle because of... You scratched it, right. whatever. So what happens now is now they got it on there and they can say, I never got it. So what I'm going to do is... Now Another picture. I'm going to add a picture to their invoice. I'm going to say, okay, now you got a picture with it on it and I'm going to hit finish. Now, if I go to their uh, citation, I don't know if you can see, maybe the shade will work better. Yeah. If we go to their citation, I can say, hey, show images. These are all the pictures I've taken. So it's clear that they had got their citation, they weren't in a space, and they have that one. All right, that's Does this it. Just go in there. Yeah, I just put it, we just made that little makeshift, you know, so you can like put some stuff and it won't fall out as you drive. All right, so we're gonna get, get to move on. I would be all good until the confrontation, and then and somebody comes me, up. I would, Sometimes it's it would go downhill for me pretty quick. At that I point. made the app. Well, this thing syncs with the app, so if you uh, beat, so you, you can't. Yeah, you can't. There's so no denying. Correct.